Hello, my beautiful Hustle family. It's your favorite girl, Uche Uche, and I welcome you to another awesome episode of the Hustle Show. Don't forget that the Hustle Show is that amazing show that brings you the hustle story of budding entrepreneurs and shines the spotlight on amazing individuals doing beautiful things to positively impact their immediate societies. On today's episode, I am bringing you the awesome story of the CEO of Styled by Livia Stitches. Stay tuned. So, Miss Uche, I welcome you to the Hustlewella Show. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Please let my beautiful Hustlewella family get to know you. So, okay, my name is Miss Uche Olivia of Start by Olivia Stitch. We major in making female clothing for female adults and kiddies, ranging from bespoke wears, ready to wear attires, and even Afrocentric wears. We wow you with our styles, and every SBL woman is entitled to one bespoke style, mm. except when it's already to wear pieces, okay. when we can mass produce. Mm -hmm. But then, if it's a bespoke, it's just for you. Okay, um, awesome. So, um, it's a pleasure having you on the show. Thank can you. you tell us how you began your journey into the world of fashion and uh, all that you do? Okay, growing up, fashion is something I've always loved because I always find myself cutting out pieces from my mom's fabrics mm -hmm. and even my aunt's fabrics mm -hmm. and they beat the hell out of me. <laughs> but then I continued. So later on after secondary school I gained admission. So after my I doing my IT I actually wanted to learn but I felt I needed money and then I felt fashion was not for people that went to school stuff like mm -hmm. that. So I started to work and make money. Then after my HND, during my final exams, I found out that we wouldn't be mobilized for NYSC okay. as soon as we graduate. So okay. I thought to use that opportunity to train mm -hmm. and it has been from one amazing moment to the other. Mm -hmm. I don't regret that decision today because mm -hmm. with the way this country is going, mm -hmm. the next five years fashion is going to be the big deal. Okay. And I'm glad I'm starting the journey. Okay. Interesting. Um, so far in the journey, um, can you say that it has been financially rewarding to you? It has to some extent because startups like us find it, find it difficult, especially when it comes to the financial aspect, mm -hmm. the funding. It's mm -hmm. actually difficult, but we'll push through it. Okay. So, Ms. Uche, I want to ask you, how do you get clients and um, you know, customers for your business, considering the fact that you're just starting out as, uh, as into the fashion world and all that? Okay. Most of my clients come from referrals. You know, when you make a dress for someone, when someone trusts you enough mm -hmm. to make a dress for them and they love the outcome. Mm -hmm. Obviously, when a dress rocks, when you, you step out, someone will ask you, who made this dress for you? Mm -hmm. So that's basically how I get most of my clients, mm -hmm. apart from family members and close friends. Mm -hmm. So it's mostly on referrals. Okay. Um, you just came out from um, a reality TV show, yeah. Yeah, Fashion Creep Africa, yeah. yeah. Yes, please walk us through how was that uh, whole experience oh for you? Oh my God. <laughs> It was, oh God, it was a mind-blowing, life-changing experience, okay. okay, because I met creatives from different walks of life. Mm -hmm. So many persons have not been to Lagos before, mm -hmm. but people like me, I haven't met that much of creatives in one space mm -hmm. for 30 days. So it was a time to learn, unlearn, and relearn, because I, I learned so many things that I could have probably paid outside to learn. to learn. So I was able to network with the individuals I met there. Mm -hmm. They opened up, we learned, I taught them the one I know, mm -hmm. they taught me and honestly, I would never forget the show because it blessed me with people. Okay, oh, very good. And, and then, um, are, there, are there things maybe you learned on the show that you feel that if I had known this earlier or you feel that somebody out there should know, especially as related to fashion and the fashion world, you know? Yeah. There are lots of them, but I would always point out one. Mm -hmm. You being an individual and you love fashion, it's always it's always very important to believe in your designer. So many persons have this issue of what I ordered versus what I got mm -hmm. because they don't trust their tailors. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when I get my own clients, you tell them this will not look good on you. Mm -hmm. This is what you should make. They would insist on making that, and at the end, it doesn't it doesn't turn out the same way. Mm -hmm. You get so. In the house, I learned a different approach on how to convince people that you could actually do this. 
and it will still be nice. Mm -hmm. You can just pick a little from the things that you want there mm -hmm. and put because we all have our different unique body shapes mm -hmm. and that affects every style that you make yeah. for every individual. So in the house, I was able to find a different way and different approach to convince your client without without it being like you're imposing it on the person. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they feel like you're trying to thwart their decision. Mm -hmm. but found a different approach and Wow. That's one of the things that amazed me. Okay, there, there's something I usually ask my guests on the show, and that is if you had um, access to funding and all the limitations that you face right now as a business owner is taken away from you, where would you want to take your brand to? Okay, that's deep. <laughs> but I've thought about that countless number of times. If I have the funding that I need right now, mm -hmm. the one thing I want to do is to open a fashion school. Okay. Because I would want great minds and young minds like I am. So many persons want to learn, but the fund is a problem. And right now, fashion is no longer cheap the way we see it. So even gaining knowledge about fashion, mm. it's actually so much, it requires so much money. Mm. And then I would love to open a fashion school where my fashion school would offer maybe scholarships for a specific number of individuals mm -hmm. at specific times of the year mm -hmm. where I can help them to like to bring their their dreams to life. to life so that's where i see myself okay if, if somebody is seeing this video today and they're wondering oh, uh, first of all you're looking very good by the way and you made this attire yourself yeah, I do. yeah somebody is seeing your work on this show right now and they're like how do we get access to her so let us know how do people get access to your services okay um start by livia stitch is on instagram we're on facebook then we have our whatsapp contact you can also send us email so our uh, Instagram handle is SBL, SBL underscore Stitch, that's S-T-Y-C-H official. That's our Instagram official page. Then on Facebook, it is styled by Livia. Then our WhatsApp number is 070-3783-8437. Take that 070-3783-8437. Thank you very much for thank being you. on the Hustle Wella Show. Let's we use this opportunity to thank the organizers of um, Fashion Prima Africa yeah, yeah. and then all the customers who have been patronizing you and have been there yeah, for you. Okay, so I want to take out this time to appreciate and thank the organizers of Fashion Crib Africa reality TV show. It was a warm month of a transforming experience and I trust that I and the housemates in the house, we enjoyed every bit of it. But then... I want to humbly suggest that maybe in the next edition or next season, it will require more funding and also maybe to reach out a wide range of audience. Publicity. Yeah, maybe the publicity and all that because so many persons are there to be seen. And then you, you can only do that if you invest in the show. So I humbly like suggest that you put that into consideration when you're talking about the next edition. And also, I want to appreciate my voters, my family, friends, my fans. This girl, Uche, is grateful. You kept me in the house till day 30 because you believed me and because you trusted me. And I do not take it for granted. Also, I want to take, thank the clients of SBL Stitch. We are just an upcoming fashion brand and you trust us with your fabrics. Thank you very much for keeping us afloat all this while. I am grateful. Okay. So thank you very much for having me. Yeah. Small me. Yes. Thank, thank you for to having subscribe me. Subscribe to Hustlewella. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> so Hustlewella is on Instagram, is on Facebook, and is on YouTube. So subscribe. I'm sure there will be a link on this video. Yes. So click on the link and follow the, all their social media platforms. Follow them, and I trust, I believe that you're going to enjoy every bit of it. Peace out. All right. Thank you, beautiful people it's been an awesome time having the ceo of start by livia stitch on the hustlewella show i hope you got value from her hustle story so we're filming this episode of the hustlewella show at enterprise hubs enterprise hubs provides a shared workspaces to entrepreneurs and uh, they have amazing beautiful conference rooms and all the office spaces that your business require so we'll be dropping their details in the description of this video walk in today and 
you know partake of the services they have to offer to you as an entrepreneur i hope you got value from this episode of the hustle Wella show if you've not subscribed to hustle Wella on youtube please now what are you waiting for subscribe 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 the hustle Wella show on youtube and don't forget to click on the notification bell to be notified whenever we release a brand new episode of the show if you're not following us on social media come on now follow instagram hustle Wella, twitter hustle Wella, facebook hustle Wella, till i come your way in another beautiful episode it's your favorite girl Uchi Uchi Kahasuela. Kahasuela.